The action is pouring in from around the Bay Area on President Trump's military transgender statement. KPIX 5's Jackie Ward has that part of the story. Moments after President Trump tweeted this morning, there was an overwhelming amount of backlash from people across the Bay Area. Even his GOP supporters here in San Francisco wish he worded things differently. And we have honorable people, trans and gender nonconforming individuals who are volunteered to serve our nation, who are putting their lives on the line. And we have this coward in the White House who's, who's telling them they can't serve. San Francisco Supervisor Jeff Shahey has served on the board since January and has made LGBT rights a priority. He says what President Trump tweeted is outrageous. What I think is awful is that you have a man who received deferments and didn't serve in Vietnam. One of the, one of the deferments, deferments was for a bone spur in his heel that he got while playing golf. Jason Clark, chairman of the San Francisco Republican Party, says he thinks President Trump's tweets are a mistake. I think what the president should have said was Chelsea Manning is unqualified to serve in the U.S. military in any capacity. Instead, he has painted a whole broad stroke of people and said that they're unqualified to serve at all. And that his focus needs to be shifted. It doesn't matter if you wear a mustache or a dress, if you're willing to put your life online for this country and you can serve and you can do the job well, then that's all that needs to, uh, that's all that really matters. According to a 2014 study by the Williams Institute of the University of California School of Law, there are 15,500 transgender people who are currently serving on active duty or in the Guard or Reserve Forces. The study also estimates that there are 134,300 transgender veterans. The total slap in the face of, of, of veterans who have served our country. Tiffany Woods, a trans woman who is the secretary for the state's LGBT caucus, says, quote, Trans Americans' lives are not red meat to score political points for his conservative base. And declaring trans service members unfit to serve only opens the door to increased violence and discrimination against all trans Americans, especially trans service members and veterans. Since October 1st, transgender members of the military have been able to receive medical care and change their gender identification within the personnel system. In San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.